Hello and welcome to Kismet Rising. So I want to apologize for not coming through to you with your weekly oracle card reading last week. Uh, I just had too many things on my plate and I thought I'd get to it by the middle of the week and then I just had more things on my plate and I couldn't actually do it. Uh, so I'm trying to come to you a bit earlier this week with your oracle card reading and I hope that it will be beneficial to you and that it will resonate. So we are using the Isis oracle here from Alana Fairchild and um, we have three options. Option one, option two, option three. Uh, these are just uh, blocks of uh, chalk actually. So go ahead, make your selection and uh, we'll go directly to the reading. So for those of you who've chosen the option number one here, we are asking, what is your weekly oracle card guidance? So for those of you who have chosen the first option here, we have the card Chariot of Ascension and the caption reads, Spiritual Work of the Higher Initiate. So for me, this card is a confirmation that you've come this far and that you are at the end of something and that you're about to begin something new and that it is actually true that you are moving on into a higher frame, into another energy. It's almost as if you've completed all the dues and you've earned what you've needed to earn and it's time to move on. And regardless of whether you feel that you've done enough or that you've earned enough or that you've made the best use of your resources available, or if you've even had enough resources, regardless of what your thoughts are about this, regardless of what you think is just or unjust in the past, this card is here to say, it does not matter. You are moving on. We're moving you on. Um, you moved into a new vibration. And this is what you need to be working on right now. And it's multi, it's multifaceted. And then there's the energy that comes from it, which asks you to be the best version of yourself you could possibly be. Um, now, most people are caught up in, in their lives and they are simply who they are without much recognition for how they are in re with regard to others in the world or without a real recognition for that. So one might actually be quite concerned with what others think of one or how one comes across to others. And that is all for one's own goals. Okay, so if you're motivated here because you want to achieve something, because you have a particular material interest in mind uh, or some kind of lofty ideal in mind, then this um, no matter how close that is to your heart, then this energy is not going to work in tandem with you. Here, this energy is asking for you to actually give up all that you outwardly desire. Not to say that you are going to forget the path that you're on um, from a materialistic point of view, but rather that you go inward or you allow yourself to go inward and understand who you really are and what is your contribution and how it is that you in fact relate to the world. And here you're going to find that there come many answers and it's with this um, with this purity that you are reborn. Um, and what I see here is that this week for you embodies that for you. It's like this week for you is, it's like wiping the slate clean and saying, okay, well, here we're beginning again. We haven't even begun as yet, but here we're beginning. We're behind the scenes of what is beginning and we are going to move ahead. And how we move ahead really asks you to come from a place of purity. And more than anything here, I think this card talks about that. It comes from, it asks you to come from a place of purity and for, and to be able to take into account the goodness of all, of every one of us into account and the way in which to do that is not to allow fear of any kind to be able to influence us so the fear could come in many forms it could come in the form that you don't want to upset somebody and so you do something contrary to what you would normally do or it could come in the form of um, you are afraid of somebody's reaction or some people's reaction or group's reaction and therefore you do not take a certain set of steps that need to be taken 
in order for you to be able to reach the depths inside of you. Now, this when you're reaching for these depths inside of you, it's almost saying here that it's going to be quite a desolate uh, process. You're going to be going inside of you and you're going to be feeling quite alone and perhaps judged and perhaps misunderstood on some level. But it requires you this week here or this card as it reaches you at the time at which you hear it, the, the energy going forward requires you to become raw with yourself, to become real with yourself and to be able to engage in a kind of energy that is the purest energy that you can engage in. So this is not about, you know, how can you get somebody's attention or how can you get somebody's affection or how is it that you can look good in um, so that they will accept you. This is none of that energy. This is simply going inward, understanding what is pure and when it is that you vibrate with purity and when it is that you are actually okay with yourself when you believe that you are being the most authentic version of yourself and coming out from that, like almost like flying out from inside an abyss um, and coming out with this newfound wisdom and knowledge that's actually going to take you forward. And I feel that the beginning for you hasn't yet come. It's almost like we're between um, the end and the beginning. There's a space within which you're in, in which you are still working with what is going to be and the work that you do right now at this moment in the next couple of weeks I would say has uh, a lot to do with how you would go forward and in which direction you would go forward um, it all depends on on what uh, resolutions you come to within yourself uh, and and that's what this card here is about I'm also hearing here that this energy asks you to be able to connect to something that's um, quite pristine it's an energy that's quite pristine it's it's kind of energy that's innate it's something that's been untouched it's something that cannot be touched but asks you to connect on a vibration of that energy and i keep hearing here that this encompasses the well-being of everyone not just your well-being so you need to take into account everyone's well-being and in order to be able to do that you need to not have any enemies you need to be able to look directly at those around you and be able to see what is the best for them and to be honest about that. I feel here for you that uh, the work that you do right now in the next couple of weeks is actually so important for you because if you don't work with this in the way that you need to, you're just going to be kind of locked into a, um, another energy, an energy that you're in right now that you're unable to break free from. And so if you are trying to break free from something, if you're trying to elevate yourself or trying to move on to the next level, um, then you need to be able to do that which what it takes at this time. This is the game changer. This is the time at which you need to be able to get really real with yourself. And very often, if you haven't been real with yourself for a very long time, or you just don't know what it means really to be real with yourself, then this can be actually quite a challenging time. But I think it's important and it counts even if you just try to be that way. I would like to go ahead and read uh, what Alana Fairchild has to say about this card from the booklet that accompanies this deck. So it reads here, Your soul wishes to travel more freely between the dimensions of higher reality. This is to allow for conscious spirit communication the free flow of light of soul light into the physical body and joining in divine harmony of heaven and earth. It requires a powerful consciousness to do this. The macabre, chariot of ascension and soul fire is the spiritual gift to attain these divine purposes now available to you as a high initiate. I'm not going to continue reading any longer. There's quite a long passage here for this particular card. But what I feel here, what, what is the most poignant thing that comes out from this is that a road has been opened for you. The past is definitely behind and it doesn't influence the future. That it's important for you to be able to work with the energy as it comes to you. And it's almost like you need to tap into some primal kind of energy for you to be able to work with this and uh, I think working with meditation or, or just simply being quiet with yourself will help you to get in touch with this energy.
I hope this message has helped you and that it gives you some kind of idea of what kind of energy you'll be facing as you go along. I think it's a great opportunity for you to be able to move forward and to be able to um, ascend in a manner of speaking uh, to a greater consciousness, to a greater vibration so that you can in fact make progress in the way in which you need to be able to at this moment. Um, I want to also say that there are no mistakes and there are no coincidences. It all works out the way it needs to be. And you've come here right now to listen to this. And this is an important message for you at this moment. Okay, so I'm wishing you all the very best as you go along. Stay blessed and stay loved and be healthy and safe. Many blessings to you all. So for those of you who have chosen the second option here, we are asking, what is your weekly oracle guidance? I'm just going to continue because I don't think we are ready. And we have the card Divine Guardian, Protection of the Winged Mother. So this card is quite different from the first option. Um, this card is almost as if you're about to go out into battle, like you are poised into going into battle. It's, um, it shows me here that you have got really high energy in terms of being able to do something. And um, even if you're feeling lethargic or, or not really interested or not motivated, there is something here that, that can bring you up into a great deal of energy. It's almost as if you are full on in battle and going in to make the final blow here. And this card here, it shows me that you have everything at your at your feet to be able to create what it is that you need. So if you've chosen this card, how does it apply to you in your daily life? Well, I think the first thing you need to do in this week as you go along is to recognize that you have everything that you need. So make a list of everything that you have, even if it's just a mental list, and see the value of it, of all that you already have. There's a feeling here of, being, of having to look forward and having to take everything that you have at your will with you. It's not to leave anything behind. It's not to take anything for granted, but to really be able to see all the resources that you have and all the potential of it, as well as how uh, lucky you are to have it and to recognize the, the role that each resource that you have is going to play. So if you're wondering what I'm talking about and it's, it's really just look around you and see what you have available right now. What have, you ha what have you gotten from your past? What have you achieved already? What set of skills do you have available? What resources, physical resources do you have available? And how can all of this come together to help you as you go along? Because everything that you have right now is going to play a role in helping you move forward. And it doesn't, I don't, this card uh, shows me that, um, kind of a sign of success it shows me a a feeling of being um of being successful of being accomplished and it shows me here that you're on that path to be that so it's just a matter of being able to recognize what you have already and really recognize that so let's just say you've studied something and you just take it for granted that you've studied this thing you think okay well it doesn't really take me where i need to go to or it's not really pushing me along where I need to go to. It's not really helping me. This card here, that's just an example, by the way, but this card here is saying, well, take that, look at it in its eye, recognize it for its value, be appreciative of what it means for you to have all of that. Don't just discharge it or don't just throw it by the wayside. You don't just earn these accomplishments by simply you know, just wanting the status of it or you didn't acquire what you needed simply for the the um for just simply for having it but rather that you've acquired all that you have whether it's accomplishments in terms of your studies or material resources in order for it to play a particular role in your path 
on your way to where you're headed right now. And so this card here talks about being able to recognize that, just being able to appreciate it and being able to look back and see how much you've accomplished and look forward and know that everything that you've got accomplished is going to take you through this next stretch now and that you are going to be successful as you go along. There's a great strength that comes from this person, from this energy. And this is talking about you. It's talking about how you need to harness that strength within you and how you need to work with that, that sol solid uh, aspect within you, how you can move forth with it, holding on to who you are and moving forth without anything in your way. It also talks about how you can actually achieve what you want to right now by hearing, by listening, and by using your mind to create what is ahead of you. So using your mind to control what it is that you desire. The sheer force and determination that you possess in order to move forward is what is going to ultimately result in your success. This card also elaborates on the on the the protection that you have and not just the protection uh, the divine protection but the the divine protection of the mother the mother who's there to protect her child who's there to look after a child and ensure that nothing um nothing comes in your way nothing comes in your path and there's nothing there to hurt you but somebody but a mother who's there to also recognize that your path is yours and that you need to learn and you need to grow through this and it's up to you to be able to move forth and make that step so if you're feeling a little bit hesitant as far as that is concerned this card is saying don't be just go ahead take all that you have and move right forth there's this huge full moon here behind you and I think that, you know, it really speaks of the full moon that we've come out of. And if you're listening to this at another point in time, think about the full moon that you're heading towards or that's just been, that's just behind you. Um, and feel what this energy has for you. What did this energy of this last full moon have for you? And what is it trying to tell you? What's come up for you? And how is it that you're going to move ahead, um, steamroll ahead almost, and what powers do we, have, do we have available to be able to do that? So I think that is an important message for you as you go along in this week. I'm just going to le read a little excerpt from um, the booklet that comes with this deck of cards um, that's by Alana Fairchild. It reads here, You are venturing through a time of significant spiritual growth and healing. There are many changes occurring internally and they will be reflected in your external world soon also. You are protected during these times by the love and strength of the winged mother, Lady Isis. You can relax and allow your transformation to happen. Let your divine guardian protect you now as you let, learn to let go and trust in your own unfoldment for the greatest good. So it's with this energy, with this strength, with this power that you are urged to go forth in this week. It's you are urged to move ahead. You are urged to take all that you have all that you've achieved, all of your resources, and move ahead, steamroll ahead, because there's nothing that's going to stop you, not with the power and the force, the determination and the will that you have. So I'm going to leave you with that message for this week, and I'm going to, yes, I wish you all the best, and may you have a great week as you go ahead. May you actually um, find a way to be able to harness the strength that's there um, for you. And go ahead, stay safe, stay healthy, and many blessings to you all. For those of you who have chosen the third option here, we're asking, what is it that you need to know as you go along in this week? What is your weekly oracle card guidance? So the cards this week are all quite different from each other. And here we have, for those of you who have chosen the option number three, we have past life, present power, many spiritual faces of you. Okay, so I want to say that this card here talks about how you have changed over the, your lifetime. 
who you were as a child, who you were as a teenager, who you are right now, and how you've gone through all the different processes of time and life, and how have you changed. It's talking also about being able to recognize yourself for all the faces that you have been, not just now and who you are right now and what you're doing right now, but to recognize who you were when you were eight and who you were when you were 15 or who you were when you were 12 and who you were when you were 20 and 21 or in your late 20s. For those of you who are older, um, in your early 30s, in your mid 30s and beyond, um, to the point that you are right now, who were the different persons that you were during this time? How have you changed? And can you recognize and take into account the person that you were when you were younger? Can you forgive yourself for the decisions that you've made if you feel the need to forgive yourself? Or if you feel the need, or if you think there's something to be forgiven rather? And how is it that you come forth right now? So the message here is that you are in perfection and that you're exactly where you need to be right now. So if you're feeling like you might, should have achieved more, you should be in a different place, you should be living somewhere else, you should be doing something else right now, this card is simply saying, look, you're exactly where you need to be right now, and you need to let the passage of time bring you to where you need to go to. You need to also recognize that who you were and what qualities you had in the past that actually helped you to get to this point as you are right now because there are some qualities that you may have forsaken um, that have really aided you in the past and has, has really worked with you in the past to be able to help you so it's almost like there's a fire that was inside of you that has quietened down right now and it's um it's like this raw fire that was inside of you is now quite venom waiting to strike and so how is it that you, if you'd like, how is it that you actually are able to get this fire raging once again so that you can move ahead and make the kind of progress that you would have a decade ago or earlier um, or during this time? Because here it feels to me that a lot has changed in you, but you still have in you, lying in eight in you, uh, a, a part of you that needs to be expressed and a part of you that needs to be expressed using the skill set that you had much earlier, the skill set that you had that drove you to this point. But somehow along the way, something might have been lost a little bit, but it doesn't mean that it's not still there. It's still there. It's just another part of you that needs to be uncovered and to be used. And this week, as you go along, in the next few weeks, I would say this card... Um, um, applies to a few weeks. It's um, feel, For me, it feels like it applies to three to four weeks. It's important for you to look back at who you were and what qualities you, you possessed when you were younger and along the, the years. So, you know, you could you could just look at a few age, uh, at a few times in your life, or you could look at it like every five years or something like this. It's up to you and what you feel uh, resonates with you. It's important to recognize how it also how these skills that you've had has actually helped you along the way and how actually how it can help you as you go ahead right now but it's also saying it's okay to take a breather for a moment and let all of this come together let all of this pull together so that you can let it work for you as you go along it's almost like pulling it together sitting quietly sitting in meditation and waking up and standing up and taking action when you know the time is right. But right now, it doesn't necessarily mean that the time is right. However, there is something here that is waiting to be awakened. And it's something in your future. It's almost like this thing is for you in your future. I'd like to go ahead and read the little excerpt um, that's um, in the accompanying booklet for this card. So it reads... When the soul is growing in service to humanity, in service to the great feminine and her call that all beings be healed and free, it gathers internal resources to assist on the path. These resources include powers and gifts from other lifetimes. You are currently integrating past life abilities and you are guided by the oracle of the past life present power to be open to shifting internally and in your experience of your own levels of power and spiritual ability. 
One could also look at this card as well in terms of one's past lives, literal past lives. Um, I'm not sure um, how many of you believe in past lives or what you think is real or true of past lives, but that's up to you and you could uh, look at this across past lives as well. I think ultimately the message here is something that talks about a power that's sleeping inside of you that can actually be awakened and at the right time it will be awakened. It's simply waiting for everything to click into place in order for this power to be awakened. I feel like this is this is not just the, the only message for you here. I feel like there's another message. So I'm going to go ahead and shuffle these cards one more time. The second card that we have here is the Lunar Queen and it reads She of Celestial Crescent. Okay, now what I've noticed over the years and somebody has pointed out this out on the channel, uh, one of my loyal uh, viewers um, has pointed this out that these these colors of or whatever objects I choose for you to choose from during the week always resonate with something in the cards. They always have a similar color etc. And there was something missing for me uh, in this card. There was another message that it's missing for me. And here we have uh, the moon color here as well as the, the the drapes that we have around her that actually are similar to this color. So uh, let me channel the message for you. So I felt like I needed to choose another card so I feel like um, like the, the card here, this, this is about time, right? And then we have this huge full moon and we've just come out of a full moon. So that was yesterday. I don't know when I will be able to upload this, but um, it was yesterday and we're still under the influences of this moon. And I feel here that this card's come out to say that you are in the space and you are sitting and waiting for something to happen. And I think that this full moon is alluding to that. It's alluding to the time frame that something has happened right now. It's alluding to a time frame where things have to stop for you in order for you to look behind and look at what you've been through. Because somehow this is important for you right now. And the Lunar Queen is here to talk about how to move forward and what is the new energy that's dawning for you as you move ahead? And so I think that this time frame here that you will be doing this is within the next couple of weeks specifically until the new moon that we're coming up to, which is also quite an important new moon. And to be able to use the waning moon here that we have right now to be able to work with this as the time trickles through, we're going to be working with how it is that you come to this place place and what it is that you've what what are the the skill set that you've had along the way to come to this place and when I talk about skill set I'm not talking about you know um just physical skills that you've learned like the fact that you're a good carpenter or a good plumber or that you're a good artist or, or something like that I'm talking about skill sets in the sense of what have you learned about yourself where has your strength come from where have you learned to value yourself how have you learned to value yourself how have you improved your outlook on life and how have you come to respect others in a more humbling way, in a more, in a deeper way? How have you come to see another? How have you come to see yourself? So those are the kind of things I'm talking about when I'm talking about a skill set here. And I feel here that um, there's almost like this power that's behind us, that's forcing us um, and it's quite, it's quietened us as well. It's like um, it's forcing us because it's its presence is there and it's like this huge energy that's all around us that's almost forcing us to go inward and be silent and to be able to understand who we are and what we are as we come out of this thing and how we will go forward. And this presence, this feels like what's happening inside of you and this feels like what's happening outside of you. So this is like this presence that's supporting you right now in this process. So I think um, that is my message for you for this week. It's simply to be able to harness the energy outside of you right now as you go along and to be able to go inward, look at different ages of your life and or different lives if you wish to and work with that and see where is it and how is it that you are given the sign to move ahead and basically work with that and be led 
through that process. So that is my message for you for this week. Uh, I hope that that has helped. I hope it's resonated. And I hope that as you go along, that you will be able to have all that you've asked for and um, all that you wish for. I wish you all a very beautiful week as you go ahead and stay safe and stay well. And um, yeah, stay healthy and many, many blessings to you all. Blessings abound from Kismet Rising.